Hey everyone, welcome to Glamalicious Beauty and today I'm going to show you how to create acrylic nails using the Edge Nails free forms. So, sadly I broke my nail and as you can see it's pretty low down, it's quite nasty. And I decided, it seems as it's so nasty and so low down and I'm, it's not a crack, it's not a split so I can't repair it. There's nothing I can do, it's quite sore really. So. I decided to do a tutorial on nail biters because it's so low down. So go from this to this fabulous acrylic nail using the edge reforms. Now there's no glue required, no filing, no buffing. It's literally a mold and we're going to pop the acrylic inside and create this gorgeous nail. So keep watching. Now I'm just going to shake my nail and take off the shine. So I'm using a 180-100 file. So this is your 100 side. It's rougher than the 180. The lower the grade, the more rough it is. So I'm using my 100 just on the end, very, very tip of my nail there because there's not much of a nail left really. And I am just, just going to file it. Smooth out, smooth the edge of it. Okay? Smoothing the edge out. I'm now going to take my white block. This is a white block. And it's very fine grit. And what it does is it removes scratches from the nail that you make with your file. It also removes the shine and it smooths the nail out. So here we go. All the way around. towards where the cuticles are there as well. There we go. And then next we're going to use our dehydrator. Nail dehydrator. Let's pop some on there. And I'm going to wipe it over. So that's your nail prepared. Now these three forms are absolutely fantastic for a nail biter as well because every nail biter and every person wants to have their pink and white manicure looking like this. If you're a nail biter and your free edge would say end there, then your nail is going to end up looking like this. Short, stubby, not nice. The desired look is to have your free edge here, not up here or here, here. Some years ago, we used to use our full well tips and we try and catch the free edge with them. So if the free edge ended here because of the nail biter situation, how much they bit in their nails, you'd end up catching it here, gluing it on, then filing and filing and blending and blending until we ended up with the nail like this. Very time consuming, Client can end up with file burns, uncomfortable, not nice. So there's no way they'll end up with their nail looking like nice if you use the white tip. You would then have to like blend it so it looked like this and then you'd put your white gel or your white acrylic over the top or you just leave them, put clear acrylic and then just paint them. This is why these are absolutely fantastic. Less time spent. There's no tips. There's no glue required, there's no buffing, there's no filing, there's nothing. It's literally instant nails because you're going to pop your acrylic in there. You can do your paint, your white, pop it on, pop it off. It even has a shine when it's finished, which you'll see in a few minutes. So work out how long you want your free edge to be. So that's us filing again. So perfect for my situation now because this nail is gone and I just want to you know, pop on some acrylic right now. I'm in a hurry. Easy, easy. So here we have the mold. Now, where the little tabs are, that's the free edge. And this well up here is your nail bed. So what you need to do is you need to fill in this area here first. So I'm kind of using a darkish pink so you can see what I am doing. So I'm dipping my brush in my acrylic and now I'm popping it into my mold. 
as you can see just going to pat it pat it pat it spread it spread it spread it all the way so if this was white the free edge you can turn your mold around very easy you can make your free edge shape there it's your nail bed there so literally just pat it pat it pat it all the way Keep patting it until it's nice and smooth. Fix. Fix your free edge there. The better shape you get right now, the easier it will be in the next filing that you will have to do. So I'm just dipping in my liquid and I'm just getting um, the little, little ball of pink. I am just popping it here because remember this is my free edge right here that's going to be my free edge now if you were doing all your nails or a couple of nails you do this little bit first get this bit right leave it to set do the next one do your next free edge like that and then come back to this one make sure you're happy with your your shape and it's all nicely filled in so you've sorted out your free edge and that so next we're going to get a ball and this time the ball can be a little bit wetter because this is what is going to make the mold stick to your nail so i'm popping in my acrylic i'm taking my ball this is where this part here is the well and that's where it adheres to your actual nail so I'll pop it in there and just pat it so the reason why I divided it up like that as well so that you can get an idea that if you were doing a pink and white that is how you would do it just pop it on and you need to give this end where the free edge time to set a little bit quicker if you were to pop it on all at the same time then what's in the well there would just ooze out. So there you go. And if you had another nail now, what you do is you go ahead and you do the next nail as well. And then you come back to this nail. And all we need to do now is just pop it on. Yeah, have my nail ready. Have my mold ready. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop it on and just press it like that so simple we just literally leave it there to set so if there's anything oozing out the front the back the sides you feel that um it's going to squish out take your brush and just run it along the sides here and the back and the side over here just making sure that the nail is not I mean the acrylic is not kind of oozing out turn it over take your brush just wipe in the back here underneath the nail just making sure that all of that acrylic hasn't gone underneath getting stuck anywhere where it shouldn't be making sure there's nothing around the sides and just leave that like that so you can go on to your next nail Right, here you go, that should be about ready. So now I'm just going to take the mold off. So you've got these two little tabs at the bottom here. So just hold it by the tabs, start to rock it gently. Rock it, rock it, really, really gently. And you'll see the mold starting to come off. As you can see, voila, shiny, shiny, pretty, pretty nail, completely shiny. Isn't that unbelievable? Look at that. Perfection.